Hi, welcome to another video in the Open Framework Super Basics series. We're looking at creative coding using Open Framework C++ Toolkit. And this time we're looking at all the different ways that we can make and use color. In Open Frameworks, we can make color in a couple of different ways and we can use it for a bunch of different things. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set our video backgrounds and also different drawing colors and different ways in which we can make color and the kind of things that we might want to use them for. So I've built a setup uh, project. Uh, in my header file, I have nothing more than the basics. In my CPP file, I just set a window title, which we looked at in the last video. And I've got the ability to toggle my window full screen and back to windowed. The simplest thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to take what we saw from one of the previous videos and say OF draw a circle 200 across 200 down with a width of a radius of 100. So if I compile that now, we'll see our circle appear using the default drawing color on a default background color. So in my window, there's my white circle drawn on my dark gray background. And the first thing is that I don't quite like that dark gray background. And in my setup, I can change the color of my background by using OF background and setting it with an R, G, and B color value. So red, green, and blue to make any color between white and black and everything in between. And the values run from 0 to 255 for the red and the green and the blue. So if I want something that's bright red, I can set the background to 255, 0, 0, Compile and run, and we'll see our application bright red with our white square on. And I can choose any other variation, and there's lots of color pickers if you're looking for a specific tone or what to translate from something like a Pantone color or some other issue. What I can also do is I can specify this in hexadecimal, which is base 16, where you go, uh, instead of counting up to 10 and then carrying on, you count to 16. So you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 1, A, B, C, D, E, F, 2, 0, and so on. So groups of 16, which is useful for something if you're needing to count in chunks of 16. But I can set my background color. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to set my foreground color. What I'm actually going to do is rather than just setting OF color, I'm going to make a color. And I could have lots and lots of colors made used for different things. Maybe I wanted to make a list of different colors that were used in particular order and then be able to choose what order that would be. I wouldn't want to hard code that. So Open Frameworks has a type called OF color. It's an object that I can make. So I'm going to make an OF color object and I'm going to call it my draw color. So I now have uh, an object that I can refer to called my draw color. And I need to tell Open Frameworks what kind of color that's going to be. So I can say my draw color and Xcode helpfully knows what that is now because I've just defined it dot set and I can set the color of my draw color in RGB. So I want to make this, for instance, uh, um, uh, gray. I could set it to be 200, 200 200, which means 200 gray, 200, uh, 200 green, 200 red, 200 blue. And then the next thing that I'll do is draw a circle and it'll be drawn in the last set drawing color. So I now set OF 
OF set color to my drawing color. So I've defined a new object called my drawing color. I've told Open Frameworks what that is with an RGB value, and I've set it to be my drawing color. And if I compile and run this now, it'll make me my window, it'll give it a title, it'll set the background to be red, and I've got this gray uh, circle drawn in the middle. Now, the, the red background is a little bit bright, so I'm going to go and change that to be uh, um, a little paler by setting it to be 255, 255, 255 in my setup. So the background is now going to be white. And I'm going to come and set my drawing color to be much more green. So remembering it's red, green, and blue, I want 255 green. So it's going to be a pale green because you've got 200 red, 255 green, and 200 blue. Compile and run that. And now I have my pale green circle on my white background. So with the RGB OF background color and the OF set color commands, I can set the background and foreground for drawing anything that I like. The example we've seen here is using uh, RGB, red, green, and blue, to make color. But there's another way to make color. Red, green, and blue is great for making color, and you can make pretty much any color that you like. Or there's technically some discussion about how color spaces are made in computers, but we're not going to get into that so much. But there's another way that you can set color, which can be useful for things. So if I wanted to produce a range of different colors that were complementary randomly, Setting it by RGB is kind of different because I don't really have any control over brightness or the color range that it's going to be or the saturation of the colors, which I might want to do if I'm generating a complementary palette. So colors that match each other. I want, might want to make uh, 10 random colors that are all slightly muted or 10 random colors that are all very, very bright and very saturated. Um, 10 random... Uh, um, saturations of a particular brown or a particular blue. So building complementary palettes out of RGB color types is difficult. But what I can do is I can set color rather than saying my draw color set it via RGB. I can say my draw color and I said dot set and I can set it via HSB which is hue saturation and brightness. So it's what color is it going to be and how dense or deep or saturated is that color then how bright. And because these are three separate things, I could say, make me a red of this kind of saturation and then make me four or five different variations at different brightnesses and they'd all be the same base red. Or I could say, choose a random hue, red, green, blue, yellow, whatever you like, but keep the saturation and the brightness the same. So it's a completely different way of making color that allows me to make much more complementary colors. And I can set it in a couple of different ways. Have a look through the documentation because we can pass it different kinds of numbers. But the simplest is I can again use the 0 255 for my hue, my saturation, and my brightness. So if I compile that now, we can build a different set of colors. So if I increase the brightness to 255 from my HSB, we'll see we've got this red tone. And if I increase the saturation from 50 to 200, so we'll see it's all red quite saturated, and then all bright. So I can pick a particular color or a particular saturation or a particular brightness and manipulate the other parts of it. In the next video, we're going to be looking at doing some more with this and building some randomized color palettes and doing some automated drawing where we're using many, many different kinds of colors all at the same time, rather than just one foreground and one background. But have a play with these things, leave me some comments, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video where we're looking at drawing and doing more complicated stuff with open frameworks.